We're at Manning Wanakwaning. We're getting ready for a treaty rights action tomorrow in Minnesota. And we're looking at a place, an ancestral homeland for the Anishinaabe. This is a beach we often walk on. We come here and we offer our Sema. We come here to listen to the spirits. That's the island out there. It was the site of a battle several centuries ago. And there's another battle brewing in Minnesota right now about treaty rights based on the 1855 treaty. And we're here with Marty Curry, Saginaw Chippewa. He lives on the island. And he has something to share with us about this, this struggle, this fight, this, uh, this business about treaty rights. So come now, stand with me, brothers and sisters, and lend me your ears. Hear me as a man or a spirit, and if thou wouldst not hear me as an Indian, a half-breed Indian, then hear my German-Irish heritage and know that what I say to you today is real and it is true. I look to the south and I'm seeing across our homeland's waters an oil slick, black and inky death as night, lit on fire to announce the coming of a change in time a change in time and let us remember that it is the same evil that has pitted the Indian against each other in the past so too has it pitted us against each other in separate camps of Republican and Democrat. So have the powers of state and greed pitted the Indian against each other in a divide and conquer strategy. Know too that they have hijacked our collective homeland, our homeland and made slaves of us all. They have made us to believe that we are different, you and I, and I say no. We are of one history, blood and sweat, and the very same divide and conquer strategy that has put us into separate camps and made us Republican Democrat, when the reality of the situation is that there is just the people. I, you, we, the people. So come stand with us, as all men and women should stand together under the eyes of their Creator and be free. Let us fish together before we suffer a slick of blackened death that would prevent any man from fishing for his family, for his people, or for his community. A well-oiled death that would flow across the water. A black death so inky of night that it would bury us alive and kill our collective rights to hunt to fish, to provide for hearth, to provide for home. So stand now with us brothers and sisters, regardless of where you come from, or what church you pray in, or your country of origin, and recognize that here and today, we must not allow the rule of law as dictated by the corporate state divide you and I any further. Before we suffer another line drawn for us by state and corporation, the very same state that would give resources to the corporations before its own people. Resources built on the backs and the sweat of your countrymen and my countrymen. Before we suffer another failure of state, let the people stand together and again sit at the same table and feed the people. Not as defined by those that would divide and conquer us, but as we know to be true, in our hearts, let us be united in spirit and cast nets to reap the bounty that has been given us by our Creator. And at the end of the day, let us sit at one table and join in common prayer and sup with our families. Miigwech. This is Nick Vanderpie and Marty Curry for IndianCountryTV.com.